Okay. I'm Coots, Mark's apologizing to his wife, and welcome aboard to Money Pit Bowden. I know I promised in our next video we'd be taking out these trees that were about to fall down, but last night we got a huge thunderstorm. So river's current is so strong that we don't want to have to fight that while we try to take down the trees. So we're just gonna head upstream and see how far we can get. And we're off. Kinda. Yeah. This current is a monster. 3,000 watts. 3,000 watts. What's our knots? Uh, so slow it doesn't register. Oh, under a knot. Yep. Zero knots. That's not great. <laughs> 3,000 watts, that's half our power. Normally we can be going a couple miles an hour at that output. 4,700, 1.4 knots. Okay, at least it registers. You can see a lot of debris. The hope is always that the storm broke up some of the log jams that were holding us off. Never really pans out that way, but maybe this time will be different. <laughs> looking at the river gap it's still on the rise we are currently at 9.79 feet oh it's still getting up it looks like it Ooh. the motor's maxed out now going to zero knots the water's going 2.89 feet per second more than us <laughs> yeah now we got a windstorm coming after us to contend with <laughs> We're barely above a stand still right now. And that wind is really blowing us. It kind of makes me lose control. Uh -huh. All right, screw this. Let's turn around. <laughs> oh yeah, we are moving now. What's the speed say now? 6.1 knots. <laughs> There's the house again. It took us 30 seconds to do yeah. downstream what took us 10 minutes upstream. Yeah. Let's try this again. It's been another 24 hours or so and the river went down from whatever it said yesterday to this. Day two. Day two. Day two. Take two. Action. Let's go. <laughs> oh my God. Oh man. Oh, we just got swept sideways by the current. Sorry, you missed the good stuff. We just turned on the camera as I was wrecking the side of the bank. He goes, you might want to be recording this. The current took the bow and just slammed us. <laughs> I popped my nose out and then the current just ripped us over to the side. <laughs> All right, take two. Try this again. I'm just going to try and go through the side so we don't get ripped into that tree yeah. again. Dude, I'm at full speed right now. Okay, we're going. We got it. But the steering's so sensitive. Yeah. It, just don't turn. If I get off kilter one spot, then we dump ourselves. <laughs> Are we going to make it? I think we're good. I don't know. We're through the toughest spot, but if we turn sideways, the current can still rip us into the most dangerous thing. Okay, I think we're pretty much clear of the uh, trestle. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> All right, here comes another bridge. And we're struggling to make it through the second bridge. Going zero knots at 3,000 watts. Hey! <laughs> I don't even see him. <laughs> There's a guy up on top of a billboard screaming at us. Hey, money pit. That's a money pit. <laughs> so we got it. Six thousand watts. We're going a little bit. There we go. We made it through. Can we get under the bridge? With the recent storm, the river's up so high that we might not be able to get underneath this a couple feet we good yeah Coop says we're good yeah we got it <laughs> coming up on cast bridge right now I'm a little nervous it's crazy how wide this part of the river seems now that the the level's up wanted to come out today after the storm to have the water up higher than normal and it is but it's also stirring up a bunch of sediment so we can't see all the obstacles that we normally hit this is one of our normally hairy areas i'm gonna go a little slower normally we hit something like right here Cooch is up front looking in the water for us i think we're good ah uh, all right it's like the good old days <laughs> yeah. 
Oh boy, what do we have up ahead? Well, this used to just be covering that fork to the left, kind of opening to the right a bit now. We might be able to skate through on the left for the first time ever. <laughs> do we try it? I say we have to. This has been like a half decade long dream. I think we're skinny enough to get through here, right? It's doable. Mm. All this stuff to the right used to cover up that area, so it is now open for the first time. Mm. Oh, kind of open anyway. Open for business. <laughs> this is so sketchy. <laughs> Dude, I'm not going to be able to turn. And bouncing backwards. Go backwards and then shoot up this way. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna want to go forward right pretty quickly here. Thank you for that heads up. <laughs> ah, spider web in the face. You okay? Spider web. Uh, you okay? <laughs> yeah, we need a little boat to get in through there. If we had a little tiny boat, the current's just a little bit too dangerous. We might get twisted about if we try going in now. Oh. <laughs> we also have a tree that's permanently on board now. That's probably the noise. Oh, straggler. No ticket, no ride. We can't go much further. Yeah. Double log jam. Well, it looks like one route is completely closed off. Uh, this first one's not so bad. No, we could get through that in a couple hours. Second one. That one might be a little bit more work. Yeah. You know what we should do? We should check out the other pathway and see which one is going to be more work and do the path that is the less work. The least amount of work. Okay. Let's go check it out. Oh, yeah. We're turning around in tight quarters. Made it. Do a little spin a -rooney. Try to get a good shot of what's up that path. Be careful up there, dude. This is dangerous to be up here right now. Who just went upstairs? I don't want him to get knocked off. Actually, it'd be pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> we call this Skeeter Dam because it was infested with mosquitoes one year. Oh, thanks, geese. Yeah. We've never made it past Skeeter Dam up this path, and it is too green to really see anything up that way right now. Heads up for the bridge. You hear me? Heads up for the bridge. <laughs> See that bird? I'm always nervous about coots just getting smoked by a bridge. <laughs> ah! <sighs> one crisis averted. <laughs> On to the next one. <laughs> All right, we came up that path. That's our original path. And now we're trying the Bud Park path. This is the biggest path, but it's also the most dangerous. So we're hoping that we can safely make it through what's known as Dead Deer Dam by all the locals. Oh, gross. Uh, we're coming up to the big angle tree on the Bud Park path. This is when it starts to get fun. Coming up to the sketchiest area, one of the most nerve-wracking bits about it is once you get past this big tree, the current could spin you around and slam you into the tree, which would hit the top of our boat and potentially cause us to roll over. <laughs> this thing on the left is new too, it makes it even tighter. Hang on dude, yeah. the current's starting to <laughs> be in charge. Huh. We clear? So far, so good. Getting it a little close here. Sorry. God only knows what's under here. Ooh, there's some whirlpools. Uh, I'm going full speed. Full speed? 6,000 watts, and it's not even registering one knot. Uh -huh. Well, we didn't hit anything on that spot. Not yet, but that right there is dead deer dam, so we're not even to the hard part yet. No, we were past it. <laughs> Maybe we did pass it. I don't know. Well, we're definitely further than we've been in a little bit. Yeah. The challenge is we're sawing through the battery right now. We have 0.7 hours left. 0 0.7? 0 0.7 at this pace. Dude, this is going to be so sketchy on the way back. Yeah. There's that tower that they tore down in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> 
If we can get up to the tower, that'd be great. Yeah. And we can manually turn around there. Yeah. Because turning around is quite a problem with our lackluster reverse. Should we try and beach it on the beach? Yeah. 0.6 hours. Well, the good news is the current will have us home in 0.00001 yeah, hours. Definitely. If we don't fly into this thing. Yep. That could be bad. Dude, it's crazy how much the water's up on this beach. Yeah. I'm just gonna side park it. Yeah, perfect. Oof, oh. we're there. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> Throw the anchor. I think we're fine. I'm gonna be standing up front. They call me the anchor. Oh boy! Yeah, I wedged this pretty good. <laughs> what you doing, Goose? Nothing. Why are you washing your hands? I went exploring. Got horizontal real quick. Fell in the mud. Fell in the mud. Got them baby wipes at. That's just not doing it, eh? Let's see what we got in here. Arby guards the baby wipes. There you go. Here's the mission. You got 15 seconds. Give me a commercial for baby wipes. <laughs> baby wipes. They're good. That's not 15. <laughs> Play it on repeat. <laughs> <laughs> If you've ever fallen off a boat in the mud that you don't want to fall into, come grab yourself some baby wipes on a sketchy boat guarded by two sketchy men. <laughs> well, we just wanted to do some scouting out after the thunderstorm. We got further than we have in months, but now it's time to head home. With this current raging the way it is, it could be awful dangerous. First challenge is getting off of the shore. Because uh, Mark got us in here pretty good. If you wanted to throw anchor. You want to put your foot on the motor? Yeah, we'll get that to go. Good. All right, we're not budging from that. Oh, we're going that fast. Yeah, I wedged this pretty good. Oh, we're going that fast. What's plan C? You get out and push. <laughs> want to try jumping at the same time to get the weight off of it? One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. Oh wow, that's in there. What? We are in there. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Ooh. I just jumped and smoked my head. <laughs> We're free and I'm concussed. <laughs> Rule number one, don't try and jump in a door frame. Oh God, I wrecked my noggin. Time to drive home and get some more CTE. <laughs> we gotta kinda go and then cut to the right quickly. Yeah. Hang on, dude. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm trying to turn to the right. <laughs> oh my God. Oh goodness. Oh, oh God. God. Oh yeah. my God. Jesus. <laughs> You okay? I'm good. Well, we're through. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't fly into this thing. Yep, that could be bad. That's going to be a previously on money pit building <laughs> clip right there. I'm going to try and turn around so we, we're on the other side of the river. Okay. Oh, this is not good. Are we headed for danger? Just watch front left. Mm. Front left. Front right. It's going to be on yeah. our right. Ooh. We're not out of the woods yet. Not at all. <laughs> Dude, that was a big hit. <laughs> yeah. I had to, because it was either that or we we're gonna hit the tree, right, yeah. and I didn't want to pin under the tree. Right. I'm hot and sweaty now. <laughs> I'm a little shaky. <laughs> yeah, bad decisions. Now keep in mind the river's about half a foot lower, so there could be stuff underneath us clipping that didn't clip us on the way up. Like, because the water's gone the down? water's dropped about half a foot in the last hour. Oh my God. And we're right over the worst spot right now. Where you can see that, that branch right there. Okay, we should be across the worst part, but there are things that tend to ding on us over here too. I think I just heard one. We're under this thing good, right? Yeah, we're good height wise. That's the only thing we're good at. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's pretty much the danger zone. Uh, <laughs> I don't trust anything. We're well, safe. that was. I told you we'd get a video out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and he's right, so click on this next one. And thanks for watching. <laughs> 19, 18, <Yeah>. 7. <laughs> <laughs>
I, dude, I fucking panicked. I was standing right there, <laughs> jumped, and just smoked my head. And the boat did not budge. Oh my god.